Today I'm going to give you 5 tunes to manage on the beta of FM23. So remember, this is before the full game release, so you want to get used to the game, you want to play with the new features, maybe play some players that you have been dying to use and test out some tactics. So this isn't going to be a, uh, a tier 10 teams or build a nation, this is 5 short-term save teams to use when the beta rolls out. First off, we are heading to Italy and in the Serie A, but before we do that, let's hear from today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is taking over, and there's no going back once you bring that true console level experience to your mobile phone. You can explore millions of champion combinations, and master countless tactics against raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and even in PvP arena matches. You can build your own unique team with over 600 champions blessed with different skills and develop them to raid your way. Now, I've been playing a lot of raid recently, and my go-to champion is Jin Toro. He is a legendary champion and one of the best for Demon Lord fights. This is because of his abilities of useful combos like decreased defense and weaken. And every four times he uses this skill, his next attack will hit five times instead of one, meaning he is perfect for those long fights against the Demon Lord. And another champion I like is Coronar. This overgrown beast man is one of the strongest tank controllers in Raid. Coronar can strip down enemy attack and defense, then keep them provoked so they can't use their best skills. To cap it off, his passive lets him retaliate when attacked against the entire enemy team. It doesn't deal much damage, but it can slow them down. And if he's paired with Manaya, he retaliates even more often. It's a lot of fun to see him constantly harassing the enemy team. And this month, Ray's just released a giant new feature. Awaken in, it's a brutal new dungeon, the Iron Twins Fortress. But wait, here is the big news. Raid has just released a super-powered legendary version of everybody's favorite champion, Death Knight. The whole Raid community has been waiting for this for a long time, and Ultimate Death Knight is everything we've hoped for. He's perfect, and the best part of it is everyone can get him for free just by logging in. All you have to do is log in and play Raid Shadow Legends for seven days between now and October 27, and you'll add the Ultimate Death Knight to your collection. Easy as that. So there's no better time to start playing Raid, and there's more. You can also use the code DKRISES for a bunch of free items to instantly level your new strongest champion all the way to level 50, a 5-star Ascension. And that's available for new and existing players. But if you haven't started playing Raid yet, you can click my link down in the description. Or you can even scan my QR code on the screen right now and you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. You'll get yourself a free Epic Champion, Virgis, 200k silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost, and one Ancient Shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get into the game. And all the bonuses will be waiting for you here. So click the link below right now because this offer only stands for the next 30 days. It's right at the top of the description, and once you do, I'll see you in the game. Thank you to everyone, by the way, who supports the video sponsors. You actually help me out more than what you realize that you probably do. So the first team that we're taking a look at is Sampdoria. Now, at the time of recording this video, they are sitting bottom of the league with zero wins and only two points. They've picked up losses like 4-0 to Salernitana and an embarrassing 3-0 home loss to Monza. Monza do have a good team, though. They've signed some quality players like Mario Pessina. But Sampdoria also has some decent players in their squad, including Harry Winks on loan, veteran Quagliarella, and former FM Wonderkid Telasco Segovia. Now, I think this will be a two to three season challenge to get them back into the top six. And if you think about it, they haven't been a top six club for a while. And they are a team that had their most successful years at the end of the 80s. I think they won a Coppa Italia. And at the very start of the 90s, they even won a Serie A, a Scudetto. So this is very much a club that has had some fantastic history. And now it looks like they are sinking. This quick challenge is for you to stop that, prevent this club from getting relegated. Next, though, we travel to the Netherlands. And we're going to Ajax. So, of course, Eric Ten Hag has moved to Manchester United, along with a couple of their players, Martinez and Anthony. And they have actually lost quite a lot of their first team players to the rest of Europe. But given that they have just won the league, this is also another short challenge to rebuild them during the beta to keep those league titles coming. They have replaced a couple of players, but I don't think they have really built on what they had previously. They are still lacking 
the, the star power possibly that has just left the club. They are currently sat in second place in behind AZ Alkmaar in the league with only one loss. But it's their Champions League results that have been awful and there's already a few questions being made about the new manager, Alfred Truder. So maybe you can take on the challenge, you can replace what has been lost and you keep bringing through those incredible youngsters during the FM23 beta. They've got uh, the new signing Cosin Sal on the right hand side there. He looks fantastic but in maybe a couple of years before he's at his peak. I remember as well, if you want to pre-order the game with a discount and play the actual beta, you can use my code OMEGA at 2game.com. You get full access of the beta as soon as it drops and it's cheaper than Steam. Thank you very much to everybody who's been doing so. Over to England and in the Premier League, it's Newcastle. Yes, this is kind of an obvious challenge, but this is a little bit of fun, isn't it? This is exactly what the FN23 beta should be or be about. Not the challenge yet. Save that for the big game. We all know Newcastle have a big budget. They've got a decent team as well with some recent signings like Alexander Isaac, that this could be one of the best times to manage Newcastle during this beta. I mean, you can test out some of the new features with Newcastle as well, like the new scouting revamp. I think that's one of the main reasons why you would go for Newcastle, because using this revamp, you can then spend all of Newcastle's money, have a little bit of fun, Buy some players that you like the look of that look quite tasty in the new gang. Assemble some of your old favorite players, maybe, and then you can see where you can take Newcastle until the beta period ends. But honestly, how much money do you think you could spend with Newcastle before the beta ends? I reckon a good 400 million. That would be possible, I, I reckon, easy in two or three seasons. Let's head to Spain next, though, and we take on Granada. Now, Granada were relegated last season, unfortunately, down to La Liga 2 from La Liga. So this is a little bit more of a difficult challenge than the previous ones. But they do have a certain former FM wonder kid named Matthias Arezzo. Of course, he has been a bit of an FM favorite in the last few years. So it's nice to pick up one of these players at the starting club and it still be a worthwhile challenge. He's an exciting player with all of that potential and your team isn't too bad. And you can kind of drag them back to the top of Spain during the beta period. They're probably one of the favourites to get themselves back promoted into La Liga. So how far can you lift Granada during the beta? I want to know. Now, as I said, the beta for me is going to be when I'm going to be trying the new features, familiarising myself with the game and using the players I am dying to use. And that's why the fifth team is RB Leipzig. Ironically, the player I want to use is not even at Leipzig yet. You all know who I'm on about, it's Benjamin Sesko. Leipzig have confirmed the signing next summer of Benjamin Sesko. So whether you play a full season without him or you holiday straight to the next year and start with him, at the club, it's going to be my most favoured team this year to use in the beta. Not only that, but Bayern Munich have lost Lewandowski, Dortmund have lost Erlen Haaland, so it makes for a very open Bundesliga. You could actually win the Bundesliga first season. And Leipzig already have a ton of players with fantastic potential on this game. The team's going to be a lot of fun to use, and in a short term, especially in the beta. This is the perfect beta team in my opinion. So what do you think? What one of those do you think is going to be your favoured one to take on during the beta? Of course, check out Raid Channel Legends and I appreciate every single one of you. Hopefully we won't be too long before we'll see a beta video drop. I'll see you then.